determination of soaps in refined vegetable oils. Group members, food, pizza, ika, echa. Introduction In the commercial refining of vegetable oils by means of alkali, such as sodium hydroxide, there is always a small residue of soap left in the oil. Various procedures as water washings and filtering are used to remove these traces of soap, but even after washing and filtering, there is usually a detectable trace of mineral matter, presumably largely sodium left. Determination of these traces of residual soap is important as numerous articles which have ever describing and discussing analytical methods adapted to their estimation. Refineries process of oils Crude oil entering the refinery is mixed with different volume of sodium hydroxide solution in close mechanical mixers. The emulsion form go into heater where it's heated and the emulsion broken. At this point, most of sodium hydroxide has combined with free fatty acids as the impurities to form floats of hydrated soaps occlude other insoluble impurities. The neutralized oil containing the precipitate soaps and impurities is passed through a set of continuous centrifuge separate more or less completely the clay oil from the suspended soap and impurities. This centrifuge will separate the bulk of soap from the refined oil are as the primary machines pump into a second set of centrifuge. The centrifuge will separate the wash water from oil referred to as the secondary machine. So in sample from this machine, reference is made into oil which has been refined and washed once. From the secondary machine, the oil goes to vacuum dryer where the moisture content is reduced. After drying, the refining process is complete and the oil goes in there to storage all the bleaching kettles. Method of sampling and analysis Available method Atomic absorption, neutron activation, flame photometric, Wolf purpose and also Nelson purpose. Nelson purpose isopropyl alcohol and hydrochloric acid as titrant. Preparation of material 1. An Echo's HCl was prepared and standardized against Naon solution, freshly standardized against potassium acid phthalate. 0.01 and HCl was prepared by diluting the 0.01 acid with isopropyl alcohol. Bromophenol blue in isopropyl alcohol was prepared from SCS reagent grade isopropyl alcohol and water soluble bromophenol blue. SCS reagent grade isopropyl alcohol was neutralized to a pH of 5 by adding 5 ml indicator per liter and titrating to the yellow endpoint or by titrating to apparent pH of 1 with a pH meter. Methodology A sample of oil was weighed into appropriate flask or beaker and hot neutral isopropyl alcohol added. The solution was warm on a steam bath for 10 to 15 minutes to dissolve the oil and soap. 3 to 5 ml of indicator was added and the solution titrated rapidly to a yellow endpoint. The color change was from blue to green to yellow. The sample should be aggregated vigorously during the titration. The highest sensitivity is obtained by adding a hot neutral isopropanol indicator solution to a sample of warm oil. 5 ml of indicator was added to 300 ml isopropanol and carefully titrated to the endpoint from the alkali site using 0.01 hydrochloric acid. The presence of 1 2 ppm of soap will give a definite pale green tint to the mixture which should be titrated carefully until the green tint just disappeared. Calculation For example, if a sample used is soybean oil, the following formula is used to calculate the total alkalinity as percent soaps. Percent soaps is equal to N times T times 31.0 over gram of samples, where 31.0 is the molecular weight factor following the fatty acid. Uses To trace soaps in the refined oil, to determine the efficiency to remove the soap by bleaching process, to trace the presence of metal in the refined oil, and to determine the quality of the oil. Thank you. Bye everyone. Created using Powtoon.